Hey, hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Folks, I am glad to be back here with you today with more Cuisineer, a very cozy roguelite action game that includes some fun restaurant management. We have played the game a handful of times now on the channel, and this one keeps bringing me back. And I have to say, too, that I want to give credit to the devs. I think they're continuing to make improvements on the game. Every time I come back in, it seems to be running a little bit better. I know occasionally we were running into a little bit of lag in the town area. I had heard that maybe that was due to some kind of memory leak issue. I'm definitely not a dev, so I don't know what always causes that. But I will say that lately, I'm not running into that issue. So, we're going to have a fun little run today in Cuisineer. And I've got a couple of updates for you that have been done. And we'll talk about today's goal as well. So we've reached day 24. We're still hanging out, chilling, and enjoying the summer season. And we've upgraded the area again, the restaurant. But this time, the upgrade affected our bedroom that we stay in in the back. And added some cool stuff, actually. Uh, it actually expanded the size of the room for the first time and so we've got that going for us and then Adler our builder also gave us some free furniture as part of the upgrade and so now we've got both a personal freezer so some additional room for those hot hot meats and uh, we also have an additional chest where we can store crafting materials and what have you. So that's all coming together really nicely. I also spent some time upgrading our cooking equipment. So the oven has been upgraded, the frying pan has been upgraded. It's all coming together, folks. The upgrades allow us to cook multiple dishes at the same time for those lunch and dinner rushes that get kind of hectic. So we're good there now. Just gathering up some wood and stone because that helps with a lot of these kitchen upgrades that happen. The other thing it allows us to do is to cook the more complicated dishes that we've opened up that you get from completing the side quests and uh, by developing the restaurant reputation a little bit more. Uh, you get access to more advanced dishes. So today, what I'd like to do is earn a little bit over a thousand dollars so that we can pay for the next restaurant upgrade because this next one is actually going to expand the, the usable space in the restaurant. That's gonna be a game changer. We'll be able to add more seating. Perhaps we'll want to expand or move the location of our cooking space for better accessibility overall. There's a lot of options, which is cool. I, I enjoy the customization that the player has access to in this game. It makes it fun. The other goal that I have in mind is that I'd like to expand upon our backpack space. You know, when we come into this dungeon area, I find that we fill that backpack up so quickly. I mean, if we were to look at it right now, yeah, see, we've got three spaces. So if we can open up another row or two, that would be great. 
Uh, we can do that via the merchant in town. And now, since we've gotten to this point in the game, uh, they've begun this process of having traveling merchants come into town. And so the tailor that we need to work with in order to expand that uh, has not been showing up. So I'm imagining that we just need to go one more sleep and then, you know, the tailor will probably return. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to have a good time doing it. Now the freezer and fridge are pretty packed at the moment already, but you can also always use plenty more beef and chicken and pork. I think I think we're going to get some pork off this dude. If you were with us last time, we did pick up a sword weapon as well, and I messed around with that a little bit. It's just so slow, and it doesn't really fit my playstyle, so I haven't been using it. All right, I would like to go down one more level here. And if we get banged up pretty badly, we can go back to that fountain. It's just, for right now, I, I don't feel like we need it. Okay. Cheers to you folks. I am out here enjoying another coffee from the Beanbox Advent Calendar. And I gotta tell you, it is treating me pretty well today. Hit these guys with the frying pan. And go with a little plate action as well here. Yeah, I've got a cup from Ceremony Coffee Roasters. This is uh, a roaster out of Annapolis, Maryland. So, you know, so far uh, the cups have come from uh, the West. You know, we've had cups from California and cups from Seattle where of course Beanbox is uh, out of so no surprise there but it's nice to see a cup show up from the east and I like to look into these roasters as well and see what they're known for of course I am not located in the east but if I end up in Annapolis Maryland at some point in time or if you are located out there sometime you may want to you may want to look into this. So this roaster, wow, that was uh, that was quite the combination of of deaths there on these uh, these rice poofs. Interesting. Um, this roaster offers a tasting and a sensory coffee experience. Yeah, I am jealous of everybody in the area because that's something I would love to do. Oh, we got some gloves. These might be nice to turn into a merchant. Sometimes the quest givers are looking for pieces of gear as well. I'm going to dump these leafy greens. And we're going to opt for that building material instead. Hardwood is a little bit harder to find. That's that darker wood that's popping out. So, Ceremony Coffee Roasters, if you're out in the east, you might want to look into that coffee sensory experience and then rub it in my face that you went and I didn't. Who knows, at some point in the future, we've been talking about traveling out to that area. Uh, I have always wanted to go to Bangor, Maine and take the Stephen King bus tour. I'm a big fan of King. Have you read The Dark Tower? Have you read It? Have you seen It? Some of you have probably seen It. If you know, you know. And some of you probably know. So anyway, I'm drinking a cup called Merry and Bright. This is a lighter roast. Let's go down to the next... Well, should we double back for the, uh, the health? 
I think we should, but I'm I'm not gonna make you sit through that. Okay, I went and grabbed the health. So this coffee that I'm enjoying right now has notes of chocolate chips and brown sugar blondies. Have you had a blondie? It's one of my favorite things. Okay, what just what what is going on? All right, I think that's a bug. I think that's a bug. That's okay. That's all right. I'm sure these guys will smash it. Blondies are these special brownies that are brown sugar based and I don't know what else they have in them, but I gotta tell you, they are delicious. All right, I need to make room because this is some good stuff here. I just wanna pick something that we have lots of. Okay, let's get rid of the flower. Uh, definitely not as hard to find. Might need some flaming spice. We've got lots of eggs in the fridge. So let's get the tasty spice and the cheese. Definitely harder to find. And this dude drops some exotic type of fruits that you can make some interesting dishes with. So let's go with that. And all right. Oh, that's a that's a combat zone. Um, you know what? I think given that we are pretty full up, it doesn't make sense to continue. So we're just gonna press this button here and we're zoning back out. We're gonna run the restaurant. We're gonna make a ton of money. Hopefully somebody's gonna order the damn fried chicken. Cause I would love to fry up some chicken. Let me tell you what. All right. All this food talk, man. Man, oh man. Okay, so we stayed out there for a while. We're going to go ahead and head to bed. I'll show you the expanded bedroom here. You can see now that we can cook up to two dishes at a time because all of these cooking vessels have been upgraded. And look at this. We've got all this area now. Look, I, I installed the window. My wife would be so proud. I installed the window myself. Okay. So, I don't want to put this stuff in here because they warn you, if you put stuff in here, this is a freezer, so you don't have immediate access to it. You've got to pull it out and, you know, bring it into the other, uh, the other area. Um, but, we'll pop some of this stuff away because we don't need immediate access to it. Probably the gloves as well. And then we'll go ahead and sleep here. Cheers to you. I put just a splash of oat milk in the coffee today. Love it. All right, so I think we're just gonna pop some stuff over where we can. Okay. And let's go ahead and open up the restaurant. We'll get through the breakfast rush and then we'll take a look at what our options are at the retailers because again those folks travel now the little ones they're kind enough to just get up and get it themselves but then you've got the fancier folk that walks in the nobles they want you to bring the dish to them and then they tip better I'll tell you what though, during the rush process, it is so nice being able to cook the two dishes at once on some of these vessels. Just controls some of the craziness. And then you end up with a line of people just so happy to pay you. Just a whole line of people wanting to pay. That's one of the happiest sights in this game. It really is. Now you see the single star on these dishes that we're making here. And 
Some of them are going to have two stars. Hey, look at that. We're frying up some chicken. How about that? How about that? Some of them have two stars, and of course, you know, they're more expensive. Because they're harder to make. It's those premium ingredients. All right, we are heading into the big rush here, right around the corner. This just helps you warm up the phalanges a little bit. Now, she's a noble, so we're going to be nice and bring it to her because we haven't hit the rush yet. All right, let's... Oop, I, I keep clicking on the pot instead of the fryer. And that'll be nice when we get to expand a little bit because I can, you know, designate better... Oh, I didn't grab it for her. Oh, well. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, boy. What can you do? I guess we're not going to get that big tip after all. That's all right. Let's see what, what we end up doing here. Okay, eh, still got the two dollar. I'll take it. We are about to come into that rush, folks. Here we go. Now this person, I should really bring their meal to them. I probably will. If I can remember. I'm going with the roti. Like it. Another roti. All right, get back to your seat. Hurry. Hurry, get moving, lady. All right. Another boiled beef. Yeah, see? Now we're starting to stack. And this is where it really comes into play, being able to cook the multiples. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, we got a line of people wanting to pay. Let's get these dishes fired. Ooh, grilled pork. A good choice. I know I'm not doing a great job of handing dishes out, but it's it's getting a little bit chaotic with everybody eating and requesting things all at once. Definitely not as chaotic as something like Overcooked. I know I mentioned that frequently because I think that, you know, that's that's the game to compare to. Oh, I thought we took the money. There we go. Grilled beef. Nice. It's a solid cook on that beef as well. All right, something for the frying pan, some melted cheese. A, a great choice. $90. $96 plus a $10 tip. Wow. All right, we're rocking, folks. We are rocking. We need $2,500 for that restaurant upgrade and we are right there nudging up against the goal perfect okay got the spicy soup I'm glad we grabbed those peppers we have gotten through the rush so we're going to cook the last few requested meals here. I believe... Now we'll get this one out. And then that's going to close us up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close after she grabs that. Go ahead, grab it. There you go. And then that ensures that we will get paid by both of them. But that was a favorable restaurant run, I would say. Okay. Wonderful. 31 dishes, I'll take it. Good earnings. All right. Grab a quick sip here. And, whoop. Don't want to hold to open the restaurant. Okay. The season is now. 
Hey, Pom, it's that time of the year just between us. I've heard Tasty Spice is going to be madly popular tomorrow. Best to stock up while you can. Okay, thanks for the thanks for the advice, Biscotti. That's our good friend Biscotti weighing in. All right, Alder. Adler, Alder. I guess I called him Adler earlier. Look at this. So... I believe this might be the one with additional space, but you know what? Now that I look at this, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. We're still going to do it, though. I'd be happy to increase the size of your restaurant for 2,500 coins. 25 wood and 25 stone. It's a little bit confusing because they talk about the size, but then you're looking over here and you're going, I don't know about that, but still, I think it's worth doing. Okay, so that takes 48 in-game hours, typically. Let's see who's in town here. I think this is just the person we are looking for. Ah, that's what we need. It's 750. Okay, I might know how to remedy that. What we can do is run the restaurant for a little bit longer here. And I think we should be able to make that money and upgrade the backpack. Let's see if we've opened up any space in here. No, not yet. Okay, that thing is just jammed. And you know what? If we get to the dinner rush, You know, maybe we do part of the dinner rush and hope that the tailor is still open for the day. Right, now these are folks that like to have the dishes brought to them. So we're gonna do that. Yes, sell the expensive stuff. Oh geez, she's over here, okay. Ooh, that was a good, that was a good payoff. He might be a noble as well with the way that he's dressed. So we're gonna we're gonna bring the fried chicken to him just in case here. This run of the restaurant is definitely about optimizing the amount of money we can make in a short period of time. Alright. Fried leafies. Steamed. Now, I don't know that it's paying extra to bring the dish over. Maybe we're just being kind, just for the sake of being kind. That's not a terrible thing, you know? All right, we're getting closer to that amount of money that we need. Oh, don't worry, little one. I'll bring it right to you this time. Ooh, that was a nice payout. Perfect. We're gonna get, like, right into that dinner rush, I bet. As we get to the required amount. Worry, we gotcha. Yep. Which is fine, I'm good with that. Serve a few customers during the rush. Okay. Speaking of lunch, I've been going ham on the sliced boar's head turkey lately. They're cracked pepper turkey and then using tortillas and making roll-ups. You know, throwing a little bit of lettuce on there. For color, of course. If 
but I was surprised pleasantly with how good the boar's head meat was. You know, I always see the commercials and you hear about it and just had never gotten around to trying it. But I'll tell you what, boar's head, it's a thing. All right, we are going to close up shop and I should have looked to see how long that vendor was going to be there. But hey, it is what it is. All right, you guys pay, eat, and then get the hell out. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Come on, be open. Okay, maybe it's it's looking. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, tremendous. All right. Oh, that's great news. Okay. So, that was a nice run. We completed everything we wanted to, and that's going to do it for this one, folks. We have another upgrade to the restaurant coming. Maybe it gets bigger. Maybe it doesn't. Your guess is as good as mine at this point. We'll see what happens. We've got more quests to knock out. Let's just look at the log here. So we've got a lot of recipes out there that we could open up if we do these things. Tasty Spice, we've got a lot of that. A lot of possible additional recipes to be made. I like it. This game keeps me coming back, and I appreciate that the devs are still working on it. They, in their recent update, they added the ability to change the frame rate, and some of those options. And as you can see, we didn't run into any lag in the village area this time, which was nice. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out, and I hope that everybody's still enjoying our Cuisineer playthrough. If you are, do me a favor. Scroll down to that comments section. Let me know how you're feeling about it. And while you're down there, hit that like button. Leave a thumbs up. It helps the video get seen by others and of course gives the game attention so that folks might wish list it or say, hey, you know what? I want to jump into this right now. All right. We will see you next time. We'll hang out. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time. And you know what else? We'll give away a video game at least once a week. Take care out there. We'll see you again soon.